I have seven VR monkey games that I'm gonna play, and it just so happens that I have seven friends that I wanna milk views from. <laughs> to boost their egos and my views, I'm gonna correlate each game with one of those friends. This game actually had a lot to do, but since it was the first game that I played, I took it for granted. There was a low gravity room, snow room, sand room, and a basement that they kept Dave in. <laughs> the map was very large, and it took me 30 minutes to experience it all. It also took me a while because I read the rules and thought there was a way to get out of the map. Don't tell people how to get out of the map. You can get out of the map? <sighs> we found our first objective. Get out of the map. So I tried every vent I could find and pretty much hyper fixated on that one thing. I never got out of the map. This game also had tons of Christmas decorations, a trampoline, a slide to your death, a huge shop, a TV that you could watch on a couch, little dolls, a Roomba. Okay, why can't I rode the robot? And banging music. And the monkey model blinked, which was hype. The face that I would put on this game would be Clayton. One, Clayton blinks. Two, Clayton likes to be sussy. And three, Clayton owns a tent. There were just so many things on this map that pointed directly to Clayton as the number one candidate. So Clayton, you are the face of Capuchin. Monkey Chaser. This game was a ripoff of a ripoff. A tree that you spawn in, one room that was pretty much low gravity, vents, an, an item shop with a low quality mirror. They even had a horror map in the floor, but the monkey that is supposed to chase you was completely stuck. This game is gonna go to Micah. Nice. Because of his glowing smile. Wow. Which is even brighter than this orange basketball hoop and the time that I glitched out in low gravity. <laughs> I have the power. Yay, Micah, good job. This game was a unique backrooms experience with smooth movement, an epic flashlight, and a sombrero that I could wear on my invisible body. And there was also this guy. I was literally running around for 15 minutes trying to find my way out of this place while overexerting my back. I didn't even record the first part and wanted to pretty much be over with the whole experience. I haven't been recording this whole time. Oh my gosh. This game was hard, just like Gage. The face of this game is gonna go to Gage for his loud mouth and desire for physical touch. This game was similar to the quality of Monkey Chasers, but the map was bigger. I wouldn't have rated it high on my scale due to the weird trees and very loud music. It is so loud in here. Holy crap. Can we turn that down? But I actually had a fun time with this monkey here. We literally spent 10 minutes running down this long hallway and laughing. It's like you're my brother. <laughs> okay. Yo! How'd you get so fast? Yeah? You wanna see some real speed? <laughs> You want to see some real speed? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! This is real speed! <laughs> the hallway literally just had a wall at the end and was pointless. But it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Tim is the obvious candidate and the winner winner chicken dinner of this one. Not only because he would go down the pointless hallway but he would probably live in there as a guide if he could, helping all the wholesome kids to the end. What was that? What? Now, if you know anything about me, I'd love a good soccer game. So going into this experience, I had high hopes. These hopes were put to an abrupt halt, unfortunately. Granted, I had only played one match and it was against CPUs, but this game was hectic. I couldn't be the star of the show because there were monkeys everywhere. To get any gorilla action, I had to play keep away. These AI Johns had no clue what they were doing and kept passing it sort of to me, but not really. The only reason that we won was because of this guy chipping it in over the keeper. What an absolute legend. I might go back and play it again sometime, but since I was grinding out these games, I, I just didn't have the mental capacity, really. I would like to dedicate this game to Mark. The reason why this goes to Mark is because he too shares an affinity for soccer. And I would love to believe that his spirit invested into the CPU monkey to score the game-winning goal. Monkey mischief. I load up, and I see a mirror and a flashlight in my hand. 
you already know that it was gonna be good. One of my buddies, who also does YouTube, had done a video on this game, so I already knew the general idea of it. You would spawn in and try to collect mini monkeys to get out, except I never got out because my headset was going to die and I didn't really have the patience. I did get pretty scared at one point because I thought I was safe and I just wasn't. <laughs> Shoot. You're right behind me. Yeah, that's, I guess this is all it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, that hurt so bad. It's freaking games, man. So kudos to the devs for getting me. It was freaking loud. I would give this game a rating a Sam out of Sam because although this game is pretty scary, it could use some Sam sound effects. Congrats, Sam. The Monkey Games. This was the last game that I was going to play and it definitely was the worst. I mean, fun. It definitely was fun. <laughs> as soon as I loaded in, I was greeted with screaming children. My mom is really right here. here. I explored as much as I could, but there wasn't much to do. The trampolines were probably the best part about the world because they were super bouncy. I spent all of my time not using my monkey arms in a game that is specifically made for it and trying to land on a platform to go down a slide. Although I haven't seen Drew at a trampoline park, I can already imagine his joyous face as he leaps and bounds across the springy landscape. So this game is dedicated to him. Thank you guys for watching this video. Honestly, uh, making it was annoying, but editing it was a lot of fun. I hope my friends like it. If you do, drop a like. If this video gets 5,432 likes, I will fly to see Drew in Wisconsin and take him to a trampoline park. So make his dream come true to soar and fly above all other people.